Hello and welcome to lesson number 25 here in our basic Rhino tutorials. We're going to start jumping into basic surfaces at this point and I'm going to teach you the extrude curve and the extrude curve along curve commands today. All right. So if I jump into my perspective window up top here, you'll notice that we have a few different curves that have been drawn here. All right. We've got a uh, few curves on our construction plane, right? And then we have a few curves that are out in outer space, right? And we have a few other ones that are also drawn on the construction plane. Now, the extrude curve command is basically that. It'll just take a curve and extrude it, all right? You can either type it in, which is generally what I do, extrude curve, and then you can hit enter, right? You can also go up to the surface menu and you can find the extrude curve command here. And as you can see, there are a lot of options. You can extrude it straight, along a curve, to a point, tapered, ribbon, or normal to surface. Normal means perpendicular to a surface. All right. You can also find it down here in the solid creation, uh, underneath this little menu here, and then down here at the bottom, we can find um, extrude curves commands. All right. So first thing we're going to do is just a simple extrude curve. All right, so I'm just going to type it in, extrude curve, here. And now if I read the command line, it'll say select the curve to extrude and hit enter when done. All right, now I'm also in my ghosted view so you can actually see that there's a surface. I think that's a good idea when you're working, trying to create things. If I'm in wireframe, it's a little bit more difficult for me to see that I'm doing this. So I'm going to click back up here and go back to ghosted. All right. So generally, when you extrude something, it's in the perspective, it's going to go normal or perpendicular to the construction plane, which is where this grid is, right? If I select this curve and I hit that um, command, you'll notice once again, it'll go that way. There are occasions, and I'm just going to select this and delete it. Notice what happens here if I select this curve and double click and I'm in my my top view. This one's, if I select this curve and I hit the space bar in the extrude curve command, right? And if I hit enter, you'll notice it's still, it actually just randomly sort of gave me a, um, an extrusion here in my perspective, right? One thing that'll happen is sometimes it won't extrude in the correct direction, right? So I'm going to hit my space bar again, select the curves to extrude, hit enter when done. Uh, if it's not going in the right direction and that happens, sometimes it'll go this way or that way. Um, you can still, you have the option to click on this little direction here and then just go ahead and read the instructions, select the base point for the direction here. And I'm just going to follow this particular line and I can go that way, right? And I'm going to select this and delete it, right? I can select my curve hit my space bar again, hit the direction, and it'll say base point for direction. I can click here, and I can begin to drag in any direction I want. And you can see I can create a surface going in that direction, right? I can also drag up in the air, as it were, right? I can select this curve, go up here to direction, select here with my near snap on here. I can go ahead and hover on this curve and I can begin to drag it just like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Now, notice if I drag this curve in that direction, if I hit direction here, it'll just go that way. You can extrude a couple different curves at a time. I'm going to select this one and this curvy curve here. And I'm going to hit the space bar to repeat that command. Now, I can extrude them both up, no problem. I have an option to select both sides equals yes. And that will extrude in two different directions. I'm going to go back to no. But if I decide to go in a direction here, watch what happens when I extrude them like this. So it gets kind of an interesting surface that way, right? 
So I'm going to go ahead and select both of those and delete them. Right. Another thing you have the option to do, and I'm going to show you that right now, is extrude a curve along a curve. You'll notice we've got a few different objects here up in the air. So the extrude curve along a curve command can once again be found whoops sorry about that technical difficulties here it can be found here under the extrude curve along a curve command here right it can also be found in the surface command and or you can type it in right so like I said I like to type that in extrude as I begin to type in extrude I can select extrude curve which was the last extrude command I did or I can go right down here extrude curve along a curve here select the curve to extrude in this case I'm going to take this curvy curve and extrude it along that curve here right so it's very important that you read the instructions here's the curve that I want to extrude hit enter when done so I'm going to hit enter select the path curve near the start and again lots of different options make it solid delete the input etc right so I'm gonna go ahead select that curve and it extruded that curve along that curve right there are a lot of different tricks and commands that can give you something very similar to this but I'm gonna go ahead and teach those a little bit later okay I'm gonna stop the lesson thanks for joining me today and I'll see you in the next one bye bye